Boker Tov, good morning. We continue with a three-minute daily dose of Torah. I don't know how many of you own a signet ring. I got one for my bar mitzvah. It was really important to me. I asked my parents. Uh, I wanted one, and they got me a nice KM ring for my uh, Nam and Keith Martyr. I had a KM ring. Now, that's not really a signet ring in the, in the initial and, pri- and, and, and initial, actually. There you go. Initial use. Uh, if, an initial use of a signet ring, you wouldn't be able to read the signature of the ring because it was actually not meant to say, hey, look at my ring, you see who I am. It was rather you would take that ring and, and press it into hot wax or press it into soft clay. And we on a document or in ancient times, they would have a scroll, let's say. They would tie the scroll and then you would have the wax or the, or, or the clay that, uh, 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 sort of at the, at the, the wrap. And you put the seal so that anybody who received the scroll would know that this is a scroll that came from the king. Because after all, it was the king's signet that's there. So what happens at the beginning of the Megillah, or at the end, at the end of this back and forth between um, between uh, um, Haman and Ahasuerus, after Haman's made his case, we're simply told by Yasar HaMelech HaTabato that the king took off his ring. Oops, let me find the right pasuk. Um, from his hand, and he handed it over to Haman, the Hamadata, uh, the Agagite, the the tormentor of the Jews. This happened, we're told, Bachodesh Harishon on Rosh Chodesh Nisan. Now, he gives him the ring to, and he uses it uh, to 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 have these letters go out and with the king's signet on it. Fast forward uh, seventeen days later. Right, the 17th of Nisan, uh, Haman has been exposed at Esther's party. And, and um, he is uh, taken out to, to be hung. By Yomahu, chapter 8 begins, By Yomahu Natana Melcha Chashverosh, Esther Malkat Beit Haman Tzorera Yudim. On that day, um, uh, Chashverosh gave Esther um, the house of Haman, the tormentor of the Jews, a throwback to that verse. Umarachai, Balfni Amelch, Kigir Esther, by Mahulach. Mahula and, and Mordechai gets to come into the picture now out of the shadows. Bayasar Hamelcha Tabato, Asher, Vir Mehaman, Miknal Mordechai. And the king took, uh, removed his ring, okay, similar pasuk, which he had, which, uh, he, um, which he had transferred from Haman, and he gave it to Mordechai. And that's when Esther put Mordechai in charge of Haman's uh, household, which means all of his, uh, his estate. So, I read the passage pretty simply to say the following, that this ring had been removed from Haman's, and right, right now it sounds like, yeah, a few hours ago. It doesn't say his ring, which would mean that the Haman did his dirty deed and gave back the ring. It sounds like, it seems like Haman has been wearing this ring for weeks. And you think how irresponsible it is for the king to have allowed his signet ring to be uh, to remain on the hands of, of Haman. And now he hands it over to Mordechai, you keep the ring. What, a, what an ab- ab- abdication of, of, of authority to let somebody else have your passwords, right? That's what it means. To, uh, and not take responsibility for, uh, for, for all that comes forth from your kingdom or from under your name. That's just one more example of, uh, of, of this complicated and troubling figure of Ahasuerus. Don't give your passwords to anyone, um, everybody. Wishing you a good day.